So we've got a Yukon Ziplocker here that um, had had a failure. It's got some sort of a super loud internal noise. Sounds like something's grinding, catching, slipping. Um, so we're not sure. Uh, I mean, did the test on the air pressure. Seems like the compressor's putting out fine. Um, but the thing was getting progressively worse and worse when it was in its supposable locked position. And it even got to the point where when it was in its unlocked position, it seemed like it was dragging really hard and didn't want to unlock either. So, um, actually Yukon sent Mike a new one. Um, he had bought their extended warranty, uh, through Morris 4x4. Um, shout out to them. Customer service was absolutely amazing. And, uh, they sent a new one and without wanting the old one back because they said if it's bad, it's bad. Well, we're going to cut into it and see if we can find out why it's bad and exactly what happened in there. So, um, unfortunately, I mean, obviously you wouldn't do this if this was a good one because they've got the case hats welded together to make sure that, you know, stupid guys like us don't get into it. But, you know, we got grinders and cut off wheels, so we'll beat that weld. Mike cut through the weld. Got a 516 12 point socket on the 3 8 gun. Pulling these little case head holes out. Let's see what we find in this thing if it's going to come apart yet. If we got to knock through the welds a little more, maybe. Who knows? We'll see in a second. Looks like there's maybe still a little meat in there, but it looks like you're kind of through it pretty good, actually. Oh yeah, oh, ooh, 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 what's in there? Uh-oh, well, it might be part of our problem. It's like chunks of whatever this plastic thing is broken. I'm not sure what's holding it in. Spider gear coming out. Maybe just, can you get underneath the edge of that plastic ring with that screwdriver right here? Probably need something smaller. Looks like it's attached to a spring. Is this a spring? I don't know. It is. See, that's a spring. So this. Oh, there's, oh, wow. There's, there's broken metal. And, oh, jeez, look at that. Oh, yeah, there's chunkies in there. Hey, look at that spider gear. Look at that spider gear right into your fingers. Oops. Hey, I found our noise. That'll happen. That will happen. Bummer. Sorry for the wiggly camera. I'm just trying to freehand it here as he's pulling the thing apart. Oh, there's there's lots of goods in there. There's, there's lots of chunks in there. Holy smokes! Looks like you dumped out the whole toy box. Hmm. Looks like this girl needs to go see a dentist. She's missing lots of teeth. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, cross pins got ugliness. She's toast, bud. She's toast. Huh. Would be interesting to get it a little further apart and see if you look down in here you can almost see like the bottom half of what must be that sliding i don't know this piece is what slides back and forth to lock it i can't we don't have it far enough apart yet to figure that out be interesting to see 
It's ugly in there. I do see we got some bolt like Allen heads here. Maybe we could try popping. Uh, that's where they come through. You can see right there. So maybe we'll try and pop that apart just to see. I don't know if it'll come apart further or not. Let's give it a whirl. All right, so it's a three millimeter Allen wrench that fits these little tiny, little tiny Allen uh, socket head screws that are holding that other portion together. So we'll pop those apart and see if that gets us any further along in our teardown process here. All right, so we didn't seem to get anywhere taking the screws out. We kind of tried to hammer between it, but we were able to pull out the remainder of whatever this plastic sliding collar piece is. And I'm sorry, a little close here, but uh, so yeah, I'm not sure like what else you could actually take apart in this thing. Um, there appears to be like springs here, which hmm. Maybe they're pressurizing the other way too. Maybe two go one way and two go another way. I'm not sure. Cause I, this one I was able to pull out. This one doesn't seem to want to go like either direction. Um, but it appears there's like four spots for springs. So yeah, see that one popped out. Let's try this one. Oh, this one popped out. So maybe there's just something got damaged so bad there that that one won't come out. Ooh, I don't know. It doesn't sound good in there. No. She's she's really she's toasted. Let's just get a light back down in there and see what else we can see. Yeah, I'm just not quite sure how it all is supposed to work. Bone socked AMC 360 did this. Yeah, and 32 inch tires. So I don't know. I don't know. Wish I knew what what caused the failure because this just doesn't seem normal at all. So let me. Uh, yeah, use the phone's actual light. Maybe you can get a little better snapshot down in there. But uh, yeah, I'm not sure what what failed down in there. You can kind of see there's some other other teeth um, down outside of that spider gear, which I'm thinking that must be what moves to lock. Uh, I'm just not sure. How it works. It just seems crazy. But, hmm, any way she blows, definitely not putting this one back together.